Hi, I'm Brenda Starling Greathouse, and welcome to the session on Get Focused. Um, this is a wonderful tool that's free through the Career Development Center. Hopefully, you've had an opportunity to visit our center, which I know, Ona, you have. Um, so we are located in the Student Center building, and we're on the second floor, Career Development Center. And a couple of things that I want to talk about, we are very much into helping students decide what major they want to pursue. That is uh, the biggest goal in our department is to help students save time, energy, and money. And the resource that I'm going to talk about today called uh, Focus is going to help students with that. But I do want to bring your, to your attention, I have several pieces of information that I brought. One is our career decision making model or process, if you will. And that's, we talk a lot about this to students in our workshops, uh, as well as when we talk to students about anything in our department. So a lot of what the Get Focused resource is about is the first step of this discovering yourself. So you'll see in this model, the discovering yourself piece is where we offer a lot of different assessments uh, regarding interests, personality, skills, and values. Also, leisure activities as part of an, uh, uh, the assessment and focus that you can take. Um, so that is a, the, the biggest piece that we like to talk to students about, the discovering yourself piece. You then could go on to exploring your options. And there's a lot of different ways that you can explore your options. We like to encourage students to job shadow, um, do an informational interview, talk to people out there, get a feel for what is out there, and if you're really going to enjoy it, immerse yourself into that environment. Uh, the making a decision, that's your next step, step three. That's where do you have the time and energy to, to actually pursue that goal, that, that um, the decision you're trying to make as far as your future. Do you have a, the support system? A support system is so important in the making a decision part because they're going to help you sift through pros and cons barriers and obstacles to weigh those out to see if you are headed in the right direction. The taking action, um, I really like to encourage students to immerse yourself in classes, intro classes, intro to business, intro to teaching, intro to psychology, and see if that will be a good fit for you. You'll really get a feel for, or you'll really get a feel for if, if it is a good fit for you, and especially uh, perspectives of hospitality would be a good class. Um, and then finally, evaluating your decision. And so again, going back to thinking about the goal that you set, talking to your support system again, were you able to overcome those barriers and obstacles and still move forward? So it's an ongoing situation. Um, it's an ongoing model, if you will. And you could go in and out at any given time, and especially with this economy, we've seen a lot of returning adult students coming back to school, reevaluating. So they are starting at that discovering yourself piece all over again, even if they did it 10 to 15, 20 years ago. So this is, this is a very important part of what we do. I also gave you our brochure on the different free assess free and some are paid assessments. But focus is listed number one in this Career Development Center Career Assessments Options brochure. And it gives you exactly the website and an access code and talks a little bit about focus. And again, it is free. What I'd like to do is view something on Prezi and this will give you some it'll give you some enlightening information and it's kind of a fun video so we'll go ahead and view this
fulfillment that I have right now. <laughs> As a little girl, I used to dream of being a quasi-successful host of a moderately popular web-based show, and <laughs> now look at me. I'm living proof that dreams do come true, but I'm sorry, this isn't about me. This is about you and getting you to where you want to be in life. So you need some help in picking a major. Well, the first thing you need to know, don't stress out. My college roommate, Tina, used to freak out because she couldn't decide on a major. Eventually, all the stress got to her. She decided not to pick one at all and ended up quadruple majoring in biology, art history, journalism, and Canadian studies. Tina burned out after her first semester, quit school, and is now wandering around Saskatchewan. So here are your options. Either calm down and take your time, or end up lost in Canada. No, there's no in-between. Next, you need to become the best you you can be. Please cue the dramatic music. And thank you. Take classes that challenge you, that push you, that broaden your horizons. Dream big. Don't just pick a major to get a job. Pick a major to learn. Your major doesn't always determine your path in life. Gene Simmons majored in education, and the only thing he teaches now is how to rock and roll all night and party every day. <laughs> so if Gene Simmons can find a job outside of his major, then so can you. The next step is deciding if you have what it takes to graduate with that major. Let's take Seth here as an example. Seth's a nice guy, huh? Probably great to be a greeter at Walmart. But Seth is, mm, not that bright. <laughs> Seth probably shouldn't major in a foreign language. Seth probably shouldn't even major in his own language. You don't tell me what to do. I'm Sarah East. Now go pick a good major so you can get a good job and then come back and marry me. Bend that head down, Seth. Hey, I have hair. Well, Zing! I was waiting for it. <laughs> okay, so that was kind of a fun video to watch. The next thing I'd like to do oops, is move on to there are some celebrities. Oops. Okay, so didn't mean to do that. Anyway, we'll go to the next celebrity. So I'm going to show uh, a few celebrities, and I would like you to try to guess their major, if possible. So we're going to go with young MC rapper. Any idea, any possibilities of what major he would have pursued? Economics. Okay. Uh, the next one is Lisa Kudrow. She plays at played a ditzy blonde on Friends. Ditzy. Psychology. <laughs> Biology. <laughs> okay, then the next person, Alan Greenspan. I know, you would think something in the lines of business or finance, but music. Oh, wow. And then Michael Jordan. Geography. He didn't know what he was going to do. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not a clue. <laughs> Economics again. Okay, then we're going to watch one last video. Hi, my name is Mario, and I'm here today to talk to you about something we all have to confront choosing a major. Now, the first and most important advice I can give you is don't panic. Because choosing a major today doesn't mean you're stuck with it for the rest of your life. Generally, people change majors and careers several times throughout their lives. But hold on, getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's start at the very beginning. Okay, so we all know you have to choose a major to stay in school, but there are tons of other reasons too. Think about the time and the money you'll spend on that major and whether or not you'll be interested in those required classes. But the focus of this video is to help you decide what you want to do. Not me, not anybody else, 
Not that girl sitting behind you or that guy you dated in high school, but you. Do you want to spend 200 hours a week doing something you don't like? Didn't think so. So let's tackle the basics. The first question you should be asking yourself is who are you? What do you have a passion for? What motivates you? Are there specific things you like to do, like sports, reading, solving puzzles, or taking pictures? These are the kinds of questions you should be asking yourself. The second question you should be asking yourself is what are you good at? This is the part where you take a step back and look at your achievements and personal goals. Like what are your abilities? What activities do you do well? And what comes naturally to you? And don't say nothing, because odds are you're better at a lot more things than you think. Now let's talk values. What are they? What is important to you and what do you feel strongly about? Trust me, your values affect every aspect of your life. And lastly, your personality is just as important a factor in making this choice as anything else. Are you a risk taker, social, cautious? Because whether you're a bungee jumper or a bookworm, your major should reflect your personality. Once you've asked yourself these questions, you think you're ready for the big decision, right? But you still may be feeling a little bit anxious and uncertain. So let's take a look at some of the roadblocks you might be dealing with. Some of them might be fear of failure, family pressures, difficult economy, college costs, and then a horrible word competition. Truth is, any major you pick is going to have hurdles. So now let's take a look at that list. You have been making a list, right? All right, let me rewind the video and play it back for you. All right, good. Now you have your list. Don't be afraid to make a decision, but if you're still unsure, ask for help. I did. You're not alone. Just head down to the Career Services Center located in the Student Development Center. There you can find career specialists who help tons of other students, including me. So now you're ready to choose a major. I hope that my advice has been helpful, so just don't panic, follow your passion, and keep your dreams going. Good luck. So that was a different career department at a different college or university, but it still had some really good information in it. It talked about values and personality, which is what the focus is all about. So now we're going to go in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to guide you through the focus assessment. And again, with this handout that I gave you, on the inside, on the left-hand side, top left-hand side, it gives you the website, and it's www.jccc.edu slash career development learn dash focus html. And then you'll, you will get this screen, and this is part of the Career Development Center's website. And you will then click on Focus Online Assessments. Now, one thing that I'd like you to pay close attention to is it says the Johnson County Access Code is Explore. Too often people overlook that, students overlook that, and we'll get a call. But uh, So I really want to point out, even though it's bolded, people do overlook that. So go ahead and click on Focus Online Assessments. And I have already, I already have um, a login, but what the screen will show you if you're, you're new to this, it'll ask your first and last name, it'll ask if you're a student, you know, part-time student, full-time student, or a community member, it will ask for your email address, and that is simply so that I can go in later and contact you over email to see if you would like to schedule uh, a, a, a meeting, uh, an appointment, if you will, to go over the results, to make better sense of the results. And um, so then it'll ask you to set up a password as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password. And this is the screen, the main screen that you will see. It starts off, there's several components, um, areas, if you will. Career readiness, self-assessment, explore the possibilities, and then 
after you work through some of the sections, it will pull together your own portfolio based on different occupations, job titles that you've done research on. And then the last area is recommended tools and websites that we have in the center and a lot of these uh, resources you can access online as well. So let's start at the very top. And this first section is about you know, your goals and different accomplishments and like it says, your personal development needs. Filling these sections out individually helps us in the Career De Development Center to understand some of your goals and achievements and accomplishments when we're working with you. So it, it's just, you just go through and fill out those sections. You can print a report if you'd like so that you have that with you when you come in to talk to us. But the self-assessment piece is where I direct people the most. And as you see, the very first assessment is the work interest assessment. So you simply, these are just, it says each section will take about 10 to 15 minutes. And all it does is it asks these questions. So for example, to what degree would you enjoy designing graphic art images and illustrations for advertising media? And you just simply, simply choose one response and you, go, you answer through the entire section. And it'll take you through a new, a numerous, numerous questions until you're done with that section. When you're done answering all of those sections, it will give you a, a report with a graph on it that shows what your top through there's six interest areas and it will show you on a graph your most interest area to your least interest area and the percent so you will get a printout and so there's realistic investigative artistic social enterprising and conventional and it will graph those out we use that information to then help you choose a major here on our campus and also transfer majors. Once you've completed the interest section, you can then go back to the personality assessment and it will, it will do the same thing. It will ask you a series of questions, allow 10 to 15 minutes, and it will give you a graph again. Um, and bring what it will also do after you've answered the work interests, personality, skills, values, and leisure. With each of those sections, it will allow you to choose two. It will allow you to choose different occupations to go through and, and do further research in. Um, let me see if I can. I'm just going to go through here quickly so I can show you one of the results. Okay. So it's basically telling me your uh, approach with pride, it talks to me about my personality type now. This was just that one section and it gives me some information about that. Then it gives you a list of occupations that would be a good fit and there are a lot of them. So this is where it, it the research part takes time and say um, economists because there is definitely, which, which uh, one of the actors or actresses was an economist. So this is the part that I really like. You can click on one of those areas of interest, job titles, and view all of this key information. Overview, job duties, skills, values, on down to areas of study. You can also play a video. Not all of the um, job titles listed have videos. If they do, it will show this video. 
But the great thing about this is you can actually choose, say, construction manager, and you can save, you're able to save this occupation if you want to go back later. Um, I, I, I looked at the construction manager, I'm not interested, so I'm not going to save it as one of the things that I want to go back to look at in more detail. So once we have completed the, the entire section, and see it'll show you too as you've completed each section um, so that you know where what you've completed and what you haven't. Some people want to want to go into focus and just do say the work interest area. They don't really want to do anything else but um, it will show you if you want to what you've completed and what you haven't so if you need to take time later to go back and readdress finishing this you can. So now let's go to exploring your possibilities and you're and like again you're going to be able to print out all your results once you're, you're completed, once you've completed those sections. Now, this explore the possibility section, what I really like is the what can I do with a major in. It is so important, we have so many students that come in and they say, I am interested in getting a degree in math, but I don't want to teach. What else can I do? So, I say let's set up an account in Focus and let's find out what you can do with a math degree other than teaching. So this first section that you see right here, these are all of our programs we have on campus and we, we were able to set this up ourselves uh, through the administrative part as far as what we want to show as our programs. But then down below these are the main areas of study that you can find at most colleges and universities. So let's go into math, mathematics and statistics, back to this student that is interested in getting a math degree but doesn't want to teach. And these are the areas underneath mathematics and statistics. So let's go to just simply mathematics. And here's an example of all the things that he could do with a math degree. He doesn't just have to be a middle school teacher or a high school teacher or a math professor. These are all the things that he can do within the math major. And it's wonderful. So let's just say, for instance, that he's interested in being a meteorologist. So again, you're going to get this kind of information, absolutely everything you want to know about it. And in fact, this one has a video that you can play as well. So it's very helpful information. Um, so a lot of people, just for the mere fact they want to see what they can do with a major, just go into focus without even doing the assessment piece. Um, <clears throat> so now recommended tools and websites. This will link you to different job boards. Uh, there's a focus workbook that goes along with the assessment and we won't spend any time on that. You can, you can when you get in there, you can play around with that a little bit. Uh, what to do with a major in will link you to our homepage and we have direct links to other colleges and universities so you can do further research with a what to do with a major in. Um, our Occupational Outlook Handbook and ONET, these are wonderful resources online as well as in the center um, that you can access information about different occupations as well. And College Source, I like College Source a lot because students, this gentleman again, this student I'm working with, say wants a math degree, he knows he can't get a bachelor's degree here in math, so where can he go? And College Source is one of our resources that we link students to because you can go in there and choose certain criteria to 
um, to see what colleges and universities around the area have the math degree. Or if you say, say you're interested in, in going to California, what colleges and universities in California have a, a, you know, a degree in math? So this is just a broad overview, but once you get in there and do all the self-assessments, you will have some really good key information that links you, as I showed you earlier, to a listing of those job titles that may be of interest to you. And then you can save those into your portfolio. And that's really um, all I have as far as an overview with focus. It does take, it could take upwards of an hour, but the great thing is once you have set up an account, you can then close it, complete a section, close it, and return later to do another portion if you'd like. And I also gave you a bookmark, and on the back it also gives you the link to how um, the steps to get to focus and again don't forget that key code explorer and thank you for coming do you have any questions you were talking about the fact that you get all this information once it goes into focus and the career center gets the information and then you contact a student what if they just want to go in and try to play with it for a while do you just you know so when do you contact it after their first initial? Um, about, yeah, I go through about once a week and see how many individuals have access and set up an account in Focus. And then I send out uh, an email based on, it, and some people don't even leave their email. Mm -hmm. And we don't contact community members either because we just really want to work with the students. Um, but if they don't respond back, then I usually just leave it alone because there's a lot to do in here. Mm -hmm. But it's also important for them to bring us their information because into the center, set up an appointment. Because of all the vast resources we have online, but also in the center. And so basically they're getting a tour and we're able to tell them about all, all of our resources, which are so important. In, their, in this process. Again, it's a free workshop, I mean, it's a free resource online, so um, it's one of those things that if you have access to a computer and can do it, I would do it. Great. Some of the things, some of the things on there you didn't even know existed, so. Okay, well that's all I have. <laughs>